Hey, and two picklers coming to you from Grove View Park here in Sanford, Florida. This is a, a, a remake of a video that I did before regarding paddle grip, but it's something that I see that's so uh, common or so pervasive out there that I wanted to try and address it a, a second time, see if I could do a better job this time of explaining the concept. And it's basically the concept of the continental grip versus an overgrip or a western or continent, or I call it a whack-a-mole, but it's a eastern or western. It's a uh, a grip that holds a paddle like this, and I'll show it to you in a minute. But basically what I want to do is talk a little about the Continental Grip, give you some ideas as to why the Continental Grip uh, is the better grip uh, for pickleball, why it gives you more range in pickleball and more options in pickleball. And I wanted to give you some suggestions on how to maybe bring the Continental Grip into your game so that you can grow in the sport uh, and not find some of the limitations that the other grips bring to the sport. So the Continental Grip is when my arm is in a neutral position, just extending my arm out. The paddle will be 90 degrees to the ground like this. The other grip that you see out on the courts a lot is basically this grip, which when I hold my arm out naturally, extend it out naturally like this, the paddle is parallel to the ground. This is the grip that can create uh, difficulties in the game uh, as you grow in the game. It's a, it's a grip that you can get away with. Uh, you can do certain things, particularly if you're athletic and you can get around and you can move the paddle. But it, it's just a grip that, that has certain inherent flaws that I'll show you in a minute uh, that basically will can limit you in the game. This grip, on the other hand, the continental grip, does not present the same issues as the overgrip or the, or the uh, I've called it whack-a-mole in a prior video, the whack-a-mole grip, not the parallel grip. This grip is a much more versatile grip in pickleball, and I'll show that to you in a minute. So let's talk about some of the limitations of grips that are not the continental grip. So if I have this sort of grip, which is a, it's a grip that basically the paddle is, is parallel to the ground as I hold my hand out neutrally or my arm out neutrally like this, uh, the paddle will be parallel to the ground or something like this. What happens with this grip is when I go to strike a forehand, it, unless I really bend my wrist like this and bring the paddle like this, that ball is going to end up in the net. But what happens with this kind of grip is when I go to dink, so if I go to hit a, a forehand dink, what happens is I can't execute a, a, a natural dink from here. I have to somehow bend my arm like this so that I can get the paddle in a position to dink it up like this. Uh, with a continental grip like this, which is 90 degrees to the, to the floor, like I said before, uh, basically I can just open the paddle and hit a nice dink on both sides. With this grip, I cannot hit a, a, a forehand dink. It's really hard to do. A backhand dink is easy because the way the paddle sits, it's already basically open. So I just have to go like this a little bit. But the forehand dink is very hard to do. The other problem with this grip is the volley up in this zone here, the backhand volley up high. What happens is on the on a continental grip, going back to the 90 degree grip, I can defend here. I can open up here. I can basically cover pretty much everywhere. I can chicken wing, do all those sorts of things. If I hold it on the parallel grip or on the, on the over grip, what happens is it, it's very difficult for me to defend, especially up in here, because of the nature of having to turn. The way I have to turn my wrist like this, it's a it's a very severe turn to be able to get it up here. I get in trouble over here. Whenever I get a hard ball over here, what do I do with this ball? It's very hard to handle this ball here with this grip, and up here, very difficult to handle this with this grip. It just it's just a very difficult grip in order to defend. So grab the grip like this if this is how you hold it, and hold it like this, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Just pull it up towards your chest or pull it up here, it's just not very comfortable. Now, if you take a continental grip, it's the opposite. It's very comfortable to do all of these things. The only place that's uncomfortable is here, but no, I don't care what grip you have, getting the paddle here is just difficult because of the nature of the arm. So but this grip gives you more range where you can do more things with the paddle. Defensively, also helps you on dinking. So this grip, the continental grip, is just a better grip to grow with the game. Let me show you the grip from both sides real quick, the continental grip. So as you can see, the, the V in my hand is, is basically on this curve on the grip. The V is around there. It doesn't have to be exactly there. Everybody's hands are a little bit different. So it might be a little bit like this, a little bit like this, but it's roughly around here. And for a right-handed person, it's on the other side. So it's just right there. And then you can see if I hold my, if I hold my hand out uh, naturally or neutrally, you can see how the paddle is basically 90 degrees to the ground. Um, and you can see the, the V right there. All right, so let me show you a shortcut on how to remember the continental grip. I was uh, trying to teach my daughter how to remember the continental grip recently, and so and what we came up with was uh, put a grip on the paddle, a uh, light grip. This one's a pink grip, so it should show the marker on there. Fortunately, I don't have a black marker, but I have a red one uh, today. So what I'll do is I'll grab the paddle the way I'm supposed to for continental grip. I'll take the Sharpie here, 
and then I'll just basically do like uh, we were in uh, elementary school and just uh, draw my hand basically in there. So now what I've done is I've drawn a V on the paddle. You can see the V right there. Drew a little bit on my hand too, apparently. But you see the V right there. So what will happen is, say I'm playing a game and I come off of my grip like this. I can look down quickly and see, oh, there's a point of reference I have for the V for the continental grip. Let me go back to that. So I grab it like this. Now I'm back in a continental grip and I'm ready to go. So if you if you tend to hold the paddle like this and you're interested in changing your grip to a continental grip, this might be a, a nice shortcut for you. Um, might stay in your hand a little bit, but it'll teach you the continental grip over time. Yeah, I know, I know. I put the subscribe button over there. Is that right? No mas. No mas para mí. Hoy no mas. Se acabó video. Thank you.